the city is littered with ruins. Everything is ruins. Um, I'm at the University of Minnesota campus right here. There's an obelisk in the distance over here somewhere. You'll see it in a moment. I parked right here because I was planning to go take the scooter on a little journey through the along the side of these walls and such. You know, the scooter is a good tool because I can, I, you know, I can crawl anywhere I'd like, you know, um, pretty easily up and down hills and up and off road, on and off, wherever I need to go. Away from whatever I need to get away from and all that. So it's pretty good. And it's, um, it's ridiculous. I parked right here and I turned my head and I said, you gotta be kidding me. I said, you gotta be kidding me. I've never seen this before over here. But why don't we just take a little swingy pull up here. I think this is all I'm gonna do for today. Because I think, well, I'm still gonna scout a little bit, but I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Let's go look at this. Sorry, was that a bit loud? <laughs> if there's a, there's a car parked right there, that's me. I looked over this way. And here's the first thing I'm looking at. Okay. I'm looking at all this concrete. Old concrete. Oh, the foundational ass stuff. You know, you got, we got foundational elements of structures. Oh, there's one here too. And look at all this. So let me show you. First of all, this is obvious. This is, well, there was something here already. There's limestone in place. That's brick. And this, my friends, oh, and this line. So there's a limestone wall here already. That's, that's brick. Take a look at that. Yeah, the limestone is still pretty much like in bricks here. But you can see it's, it's gone through the damage. It's gone through the meltdown. Got okay, stuff melting, bleeding into it. Very puffy. And over here, we, we've used concrete. Looks like sidewalks. And we stacked up and made a retaining wall. We've, we've completed this wall that was already here. This would have been red brick. Now it is limestone. Anywhere you go in the city, it's ridiculous. So foundational elements peeking through over here. Got wooden square heads. Wooden square heads. Got concrete rendering, very nice. Fancy, fancy, fancy. It's got this eh, fancy concrete work and what have you. Yeah, that concrete, I mean, it is, just, it is so fine. Um, here's a brick, no stamp. But there are bricks with stamps here. Wait, do you see this? Well, what the fuck is this going on here? I didn't see this at first. So again, this wall is continuing on. See here. It was, there was a wall here. See, remember the limestone part there? That's that's a damaged brick wall. And they completed it here by putting up a bunch of sidewalk and different various concretes from different places and such. And then this, maybe from right here even. Here's the, here's the, the rebar and, and all that. Rebar and, so they were using rebar and concrete. This is just a rebar construction concrete. Usually we use a lot of rebar in this area because it's quite cold so you don't find solid pores of concrete in, in, in structures or in anything really, not even sidewalks and such. You have a lot of rebar because it's relatively cold but um, you can thread it up here. Pipe is bent, doesn't rust. It's still, it's still, yeah, it doesn't rust. That's just patina. It's not structural rust damage. Uh, neither is it on here. This is, there's no rust. They don't rust. Unreal. Looks like brand new. Looks like it's brand new. And this was a brick. Oh no, they got brick in there too. Brick and concrete. See? That was, that was, what the fuck? What is that doing hanging off like that? Just weird. And the, the limestone chunks in here would have been red brick in place perfectly. And this was rendered with concrete, and it's muffed up. Wow. It gets better, it gets better. Look at the wood, the wood survives the event. 
There's some expatriated wood right here, still nailed in place. Wow. So we got all sorts of awesome stuff happening here. It gets better though over here. I'm trying to see what's up there, but I can't quite see. Okay, um, I don't know if I want to walk back up there because I want to walk over this way. I think I'll leave it for now. I don't think it's anything. Yeah, this is very damaged. Look at these these huge uh, cracks going through here. My goodness, that's the last thing you want in concrete masonry is a crack like this. This is ridiculous. This damage is so is so apparent. I mean, look look, look at this this sagging down. It's a mess. Now, how do I get back over there? So, this is uh, this is what I saw initially. I'm parked right there. You gotta be kidding me, right? Excuse me, I'm getting all tangled up. Ah, yeah, fused right into the concrete um, rendered side of the structure here. So they're both the same, the same era. Here's the concrete side we were looking at, and they are fused, a fusion going on here. Look at the transition <laughs> into the brick stuff here. Fused right into it. What a mess. There would have been a but uh, like a little butchers like this here, right here, stepping up as well, but it's completely been just destroyed. This one too, look at the bricks. And just to prove that this limestone, all this limestone pieces is gray and yellow. It can be either gray or yellow. Limestone, this is limestone here. Here's a limestone here, it's it's brick. It's, it's, it's all red motherfucking brick. All of it, all these limestone chunks in place, they were red bricks, now they're limestone bricks in place. And they're mangled out, and these little chunks here. All brick material, that's why they're red still and such. Little churned up bricks turned around. This was a major event. And just look at the condition of the mortar. Are you kidding me? That just screams I was hot. It just screams it. And there's metal pipes sticking out up here. Oh no, it's a bottle. <laughs> so this was a major event. To get to get glass bottles. Oh look at that, that rainbowy glass. I'm telling ya. That's an old bottle, tooled top. Look at this. They always have this rainbowy tinge to the glass. For that to get churned up into the wall, imagine the amount of force. So those artifacts here, I can see more glass in here. This would be a good dig site right here. Shit got churned up um, on top of this wall, it looks like. And they're not on top, not on top of it, just the top of the, here, sorry, let me back out. That's what I'm doing wrong. There's all sorts of glass here. Another, their glass is rainbowy. The old glass is rainbowy tinged. See, see how it has that rainbowy tinge? It's a tooled top, very thick. I don't know what that was, but it's fancy. It had a fancy little rim right there. No, no markings. Oh no, that that's a mark from from from, the, from manufacturing. It, it got scraped. Just to show you, hand, yeah, tooled top. See the rainbowy tinge in the glass. I wonder if you can see that. That's how you, I mean, you know it's old glass if it has that rainbowy tinge. And if it's too, it has a tooled top, tooled crown top, a uh, certain machine topped. So that's old world. That that went through the event and it got churned up somehow, ended up in the wall. Fucking A. And there's more glass and stuff in here. And, and artifacts and yeah, it's all rainbowy glass. Pieces of windows and stuff and just, that's a bottle. Same glass. It's very sharp. Another bottle piece here. Another bottle piece here. This is a good dig site. Fucking A. You probably find you probably find some good. Oh, oh my god. Fucking A. That's yeah, broken too though. Damn it. This is a site. This is a dig site. Two tooled top. Uh tooled machine. Uh, no, it's tooled or machined. It's kind of like a uh just got a machine top. No markings. It's got an interesting type of machine top. And, uh, wow. 
Ooh, that's got that rainbowy tinged glass. That, that's not that's an artifact. That's an old world bottle. Went through the event. It's in the rubble here. This is a dig site. Fucking A. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. These are called Athens blocks, I think. Athens blocks. They're also melted and damaged. I can't find one with the Yeah, Athens blocks. They are Athens blocks. There's the so Athens block. And see, see the rainbow tinge in there? I don't know if you can see that. It's got a square bottle, square bottom. See the rainbow? There, there you go. All the old world glass will look like that. If you're on, if you're in like a dig site, this is a this is us. This site right here is screaming dig me. You dig down right here, there's gonna be a there's gonna be stuff like this coming up that ain't gonna be broken. This I may still take with me. I usually take stuff like this when it's like near complete, but I have been finding a lot of completes lately. A lot of completes. Um, I found a, um, a medicine, a, a few medicine bottles, um, incomplete, and all this glass here. All this glass and stuff is old world. But then look at the condition of the bricks all turned up in here. See, they were bricks. All these little limestone chunks, they turn to limestone. They break up, they churn around. This is all brick ash down here. That, that was pouring down, that was brick ash. Pouring off of the structure over time now because it's been ashified. Let me back up so you can see better. These are Athens blocks. Another chunk here melted. If these aren't melted bricks, give me a break. This was a major event and they're lying to us. And I know that there's some folks actually who are new to my channel who just um, found me by happenstance. And oh, the glass, this is such a dig site. Oh, it's all like, oh, it was a little tiny bottle. Like a little tiny medicine bottle. And it's shiny rainbowy glass. Oh my God, I just wanna go get that. What is this? What is that? It's big fitting. Look, look, look at how the metal just turns to like, like paper. I found that over by, by the river, it just turns to paper. And this is so melted, it's not even funny. Do you see these are hot surfaces? Do we know what hot surfaces look like? No, I'm, I was talking here, I was saying, there are probably some folks who don't, um, who are, I know, I know there's some folks who are, who have just found me. Just stick with it. That's all I can say. I, I don't, I can't explain it all right now. But what you're gonna be seeing is stuff like this and you're gonna be hearing some, what probably sound like ridiculous claims. Just stick around. I'm not the only one saying this. How oh, does the cops watching me? You get away from me. Um, th there's um, what's this? Can, can of something, old can of something. This is such an artifact site, it's not even funny. I'm ready to bring a shovel and dig in this, into this ash. But to those who are new to my channel, who just found me by happenstance, I know there's some people in my local area who have found my channel and, um, and such, and you're checking out some of my explorers underground and all that, and um, just stick with it. I'm not the only one looking, look, uh, looking into this stuff. There's a whole community. If you have any questions, please, please ask me anything, and I will do my best to start um, helping anyone I can uh, who's new to this, because this is ridiculous. But I, I can break it down for the, for the for those who just have no idea what we're talking about and looking at here. What we're looking at is damage from some sort of a cataclysmic event that happened somewhat recently in our past, leaving bricks looking like this. These were all red bricks, as you can see. This was a column coming out here. It was a brick column, like, like the wall behind. And these buttresses here were completely damaged and smoked in some sort of an event. The whole, the whole um, realm, let's say the whole world, uh, was struck by this same event. The same damage is found everywhere, it's obvious. And we're looking into the damage and we're documenting this and looking into what we can do to solve these mysteries because we've been lied to about nearly everything. What this means here is that we've been lied to about everything, pretty much, except for basic mathematics and simple things that can't be violated, like, law, like supreme laws that can't be violated, such as mathematics. That's why we haven't been lied to about those things. But history and such, we've been lied to. And there's been some sort of a major event that happened. It's obvious. This evidence is not just here. It's in every known landmass in the world. And the same damage. So we're looking at, so we're looking into this. And yes, I'll be taking the underground and doing many more explorers in my area. And for those who are in my area, reach out to me. I have an email on my channel. I have it listed there. 
and contact me and we can always go check out some things in my area um i'm never I, i'm always i'm always ready so and I, I welcome anybody i don't care who you are i welcome anyone to come along don't matter who you are even even you and you, you know who i'm talking to you can come along too if you want for a joy ride i'll take you on a joy ride uh, but this is unreal, isn't it? I mean, I'm falling here, like all over the place. I better just walk up this way before I slip. There's chunks of wall down here. And look at the, oh, look at the tops of these, it's all glass too. Look at the tool, tooled top. My God, what a sight. Had, had, had markings on it. What kind of bottle was this? Look how fancy the bottle was even. It was like a weird shaped bottle, like a flask. It was a flask. It was a flask. To a top, to a top. This is such a look at the artifacts. I've already, I've already, I'm taking some of these. I might take these tops home and this. I might take those. Those are all interesting. A little squirrel right there. Oh, chipmunk, chipper. Hey there. What are you looking at? You watching me, eh? Oh, you're cute. Why are you coming right to me? What gee whiz? Why are you coming to the bricks? Why well, hello? And don't be afraid. Have no fear. I have no fear. What do you do? What do you do? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, usually they don't come that close, eh? <laughs> I just came right down. I was coming right up along here. You're in my way. But I need to get home. See the bricks here? How they are inside of the wall? There are bricks. There are bricks in there. I'm taking these fuckers home. I want to dig down. Oh, there's cans and everything here. These are all old world. All old fucking world. So many... Somebody, was, somebody must have been digging here a little bit. I don't know. But no, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's all loose. It seems like all this shit's just literally peeled up. That Somebody in the old world did that. Oh my god, it just turned to dust. It just turned to dust. <laughs> I wanted to take that. It had a lid open. Like somebody peeled that. Like, oh, I want to cry now. There's glass stuck on this. Man, this was quite... Well, this has a lid turned up too. I'm going to try to keep this without it bursting. That's so crazy. Somebody cocked that in the old world somebody in the old world their fingers lifted this and, and and they probably drank out of it or something i don't know they had yeah a piece of metal here this is quite a dig site i'm telling you what I'm, i swear you dig like this right right in here you'll probably start finding stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i feel glass i feel glass i feel glass there's glass in here yeah. Oh, shit. I am so, so gonna come back here. And I am not kidding you. Um, that's just so cool. It's without a doubt this is old world, so that's just blowing me up. That's just so cool that somebody opened that. Somebody who went through this event likely opened this can. <sighs> Drank out of those bottles. Oh, I just broke it. I just, uh, you know what? Fuck it. It's just dust anyway. The can. Wait, it's just turned to dust. That's how, this metal? What? No, it's not. No, it's not. Not anymore. Am I annoying? I'm probably so annoying to some folks. I'm sorry. There's so much glass in here. It's not even funny. That is thin. It's thin. That's window. That's, that's really thin. What, what, what would that even have been for? That's so fucking thin. It's not like a window. Like that's it's not a bottle, it's so thin. It's all it's all that rainbowy glass is just coming out of here, it's just everywhere. Glass, bottles, bottlenecks, stuck in here. Oh my god, whole bottles. Look at this bottle. Look, give me a break. Another flask. You know what? This is like not even funny. Like like people who like dig and stuff, like dig sites, like if they're watching this, they're probably going crazy right now. It's tool top. I'm probably driving them nuts right now. Look, look, look at the tool top. <laughs> you know, if there's any good folks out there who do this, they're going nuts right now. I know they are. I mean, I'm into that stuff too. Look at this. Look at the rainbow. Look at the rainbow tinge. Even on the amber glass, it's rainbowy. It's all. It's a different kind of glass. It's much better quality. It's very ringy. It's hard. There's no plasticity to it. It's just straight hard glass. Very, very. Much so. And it's just littered with glass everywhere in here. And they're all bottles. You reach in there, you find, you cut your hands, cut it wide open, and you'll pull out glass bottles. Literally, just reaching in there, you'll, you'll feel them. I, I just felt that one. 
Uh, oh, there's pottery. Oh, oh my God, there's gonna be glassware, dinnerware, uh, ceramics. Oh my God. Look at the color. Oh my God, there's like a pink on it. It's some sort of ceramic. It's all melted too and, oh man. Give me a break. It's got black on it too. Let's see. That was something beautiful. This just turned into something completely different. So much glass in here. I'm just looking at this rainbowy glass. Unreal. How does it get churned up in the wall, you know? Some, this is one hell of an event. Metal coming down the, why are there metal pipes coming in, into the wall? Like what type of technology? This is a metal pipe or an iron pipe that's hollow. What the hell is that doing? Coming through the wall. It's not water drainage, that's too small. It's like technology. This is blown out. And I know that those folks who are new to this are just not, they're just not picking up on this yet. There's so much more to this. There's so much more that, that there's questions that you probably need answered now. If you haven't just completely left already. <laughs> but yeah, this does mean a lot. I mean, just, yeah, if, if you are new and you're looking at this, this, uh, if you have a lot of questions, uh, yes, this does this does uh, bring a lot of questions into play. We are looking at every one of those questions likely that you have. And we have probably answered a few of them, but we do not have all the answers. That's why we're out here doing this type of stuff, digging with our hands and our fingers through the rubble. Looks like a bone. What is that? Is that a bone? For the love of God, is that a vertebrate? Is that, a, is that a human bone? What the fuck is that? Hang on a moment. Oh my, what is that? No, 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 it can't be a bone. What is that? No, not, not a bone. Give me a break. Is that a bone? I don't know, but that's creepy. I'm taking it with me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It may just be nothing. It might just be nothing. Look at the melted bricks. Look at the fucking melted bricks on here. Mangled. Oh, they were bricks. These were... So why would they have one half piece of a brick in here? For those who are new to this, look at these melted bricks. You say, what, why they melt? Well, there's a lot to this. We think that these buildings were powering themselves via these bricks and through some sort of a different sort of energy system, which was essentially free. And likely the buildings, the bricks themselves, being able to... Um, be, being able to produce and to hold a charge because they are they can hold piezo electricity through their crystalline and metallic structure. See how this looks like electrical heat. So it seems like this realm was struck um, and it was hit via the the architecture, which was their power grid. Somehow the power grid took a hit, and that meant their world took a hit because uh, the buildings themselves were powering. The buildings were powering themselves, it's, it, it would seem. Um, but there's many questions, many unanswered, I know. So just stick around and hang around. Uh, join in the conversation. We have many, many great researchers. And I have many colleagues who are on the scene looking at this and breaking it apart, sharing the evidence. And um, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna make something of it. We already are making something of it. And we're, you know... So I love you all. This is unreal. The colors of these glass from the old world is just blowing me away. Look, look at the colors of this glass. Are you kidding me? Everything about them was so beautiful. So essentially what I'm saying, th there was an advanced civilization here, folks, uh, the ones who are new. And all their stuff you can see is high quality and nice. They built with bricks. The bricks seem to have powered the structures. And uh, they took a hit. And this lying in rubble, and we live amongst the ruins. Many of us live in homes which were built in the old world. So, much more to come. This was just a little side. I was planning to go take a ride. I think I still might, but I mean, come on. I have to go bring these artifacts to my car. Green bottle right there. I don't know what that is, but I'll check it out. Might be nothing. Might be new, but those are not new. Coming out of the wall here. Isn't that something? I pulled off. I said, no, give me a break. I said, give me a fucking break.
these aren't melted with the bricks hanging on why, why would you build with stones down here and these two perfect beautiful bricks right here on the side here or down here you have it bricks on the bottom and then you're gonna do this no you don't do that these were obviously bricks getting damaged and melted bricks getting damaged and melted. there's only a piece of that one left damaged and melted and they were turning into limestone this, this is the thing they turned to limestone they get invaded by all this lime coming out of the brick all this lime coming out of the brick and sodium and calcium and it invades everything creating new minerals all of which are pretty much forms of limestone at different hardness they can all be they can all be pretty much most of them not all of them but um abundant stone i'm talking about like limestone shale mudstone all those things um sandstone they're all the same they all react to 10 percent um hydrochloric acid because of the presence of lime and lime is obviously why they call it limestone because it's full of lime and it's been and that's what's happened there's been an invasion this has been struck by some sort of a intense energy whether that be heat just we, we don't know but it, it definitely melted everything down and there was heat involved you know what a hot surface looks like right how'd their bricks get hot down here fire from where we're in the parking lot how the walls come down these are heavy that weighs probably 400 pounds so people aren't dumping stuff here i can't lift those little pieces right there these bricks dude, these are heavy bricks these probably weigh about 40 pounds a piece these are different i'm taking all this shit home i don't even care no i'm not i'll leave it here I'll leave it, but i'm taking the bone home i'm gonna leave those here i'll come back later and i'll do a dig i'll do a dig here We'll do a dig because there's all sorts of these are tube tops and machine tops and all sorts of different bottles so that means you have an old uh, dig site it looks like you're gonna be pottery all sorts of beautiful ceramics who knows oh, yes yeah, ceramics who knows what else this was a ceramic something it's completely melted so there's a dinner plate right here see how everything was beautiful everything on the earth was beautiful this is an archaeological dig right here. I'm not gonna. I hope I, I hope. I hope I don't. I'm not gonna give my location. Uh, I already did get my location, didn't I? Yeah, I don't care. I'll beat. I'll beat them. To, I'll beat them too. I'm already here. This is a dig. Oh, the green. Look at the green. This is an archaeological dig site. Fucking a. Um, whatever. You need a permit to dig. You need a permit. You need a permit. Not fuck. Give me a fucking break. Says who? Permit from who? For, from who? Who wants me to get a permit? And why do they care? Why do they care? Wait, 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 what's it to them? I don't see them over here. I don't see them over here. Am I bothering them? Why? They, they, they want me to get a permit because somebody is concerned that I'm digging here in the wall and there's rubble. That makes sense, right? Yeah, you need a permit. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just rambling on. Take care of you. I'm melted bricks.